Recall that in section 1.1 of our textbook, we took a brief look at a case study of an experiment. A statistical analysis of the data from the study was performed and summarized in the form of two contingency tables, one summarizing data for 0 to 30 days or a month, and the other summarizing data for 0 to 365 days or a year. In this brief video, I will show how to use our guru to generate the contingency table for 0 to 30 days. So from within our guru, our first step is to go get the data that we need for our contingency table construction. So I go to the left hand our guru menu, click on data, click on data import, and click on data set repository. The data set repository we're interested in for our textbook is titled open intro. So I start typing in open and I can see that it now comes up, so I click on open intro. The name of the data set we are looking for is stent, S-T-E-N-T. Notice that there are three data sets that have stent. We are interested in the stent 30 data set. So I click on that, I click import, and I notice that that data set now appears in the left-hand side and under the data menu in our guru. I close that menu, and I now have the data set available to work with. Now that we have our data set, let's use it to go create our contingency table. So I'm going to close the data menu within our guru and open up the analytics menu, click on the analysis button, and then I come down in the menu that pops up and click on contingency table. Within the dialog box for the contingency table, we're going to go ahead and select the stent 30 data set. The first factor we will select is the group, whether or not they're part of the control or treatment group. And the second factor is the outcome, that is whether they had a, uh, whether they had a stroke or not. I now go ahead and preview the contingency table. And I notice there are two tables that pop up. We're going to ignore the one that says expected counts. That has to do with some material that we will cover later on in the course. We are only uh, interested in the observed counts. But I notice that the column labels and the row labels don't quite match what we had in figure 1.2 of our textbook. So I'm going to go ahead and change the order of those labels. I click on group, uh, left click with my mouse on group. I left click on treatment and hold my left mouse button down and drag treatment up. And then I'm going to do the same thing for outcome. I left click on outcome. I left click on stroke and hold my mouse button down and drag stroke up. And now let's preview what the table looks like. Notice that that changed the order of the labels in both the rows and the columns so that they now match figure 1.2 of our textbook.